Hey, hey, folks, welcome back to Let's Give It A Go with me, Beanie81. This is not the third time I'm doing this uh, intro. I am totally professional and did not forget to press the record button twice. No, this is the 20th. Also, as you can probably hear, mostly due to the bad uh, mic quality, I'm joined today by two very special people, uh, or at least I tried to be, unfortunately, I just had to invite these two instead. Oh, um, so. I said that with me. <laughs> I hope I said that you know, just me. Oh I've got with God. me Turbo Tom, who you may recognise for a few uh, videos. He helped me on the ship and Monaco videos. And I nearly broke your microphone at screen, yeah. you know. And Kaylin, my housemate, who helped me in the recent Monaco video. Um, <laughs> and he has also helped me today by lending me use of the Yorg from his Steam library, which is apparently a very good game. You two both played it and told me it's awesome. Yes. And keep bugging me to um, play it, so I've caved Also, in. yes. <laughs> and decided to play it. And it's apparently a four player local. Um, game or one to four player, so damn that's rare. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> um, it's not a uh, online. Well, that, unfortunately, it's awesome. Yeah, well, to be fair, is it not online? Uh, this no, oh, no. Yeah. To, and also you player. can't actually play one player in a way. Oh, you've got you to, have play. to select oh, at wow. least two characters. Fair enough. So it's purely caught. Well, at least caught if not in four player. Well, either way, we've got the same way cast. that uh, chess is caught. You can play against yourself. Mm -hmm. Either way, sure. we've got four characters here to choose from. Each of us will choose one of them. There is the dashing gent, the lovely witch, the little noble girl, and the Scott. Um, <laughs> I'm going to be the dashing gent because it just goes with my personality so much. And uh, yeah, I'm awesome. Let's go, noble. So I'm not dashing gent, but <laughs> and I'm going to go for a wee Scottish lad. As long as you don't have to do the accent. There's nothing little about wee Scottish. The Yorg will be here in six weeks. Oh, you're gonna... <laughs> no one expects it. Not a one of us. We just keep living our lives week by week, unaware. Um, Sorry. I'm not gonna lie, that fish game, I thought you actually pressed the off recording button again. No, <laughs> it just took me a second for the penny to drop me like. murder somebody, and since I'm the one that did it, I'm pretty sure that's called suicide. Um, <laughs> It took me a second for the penny intro where it's just like, oh shit, someone should probably do like the voice for the intro. Yeah, and then, um... <laughs> Other way, it's like, um, so you can select stuff by moving up and down the other keys, and you've got your different stats. And it's basically each week you choose a different activity, is that right? Yes, and um, depending on what activity you choose and what option you choose, you your stats are affected. For example, the arena, which is probably my second favourite area. Uh, I'm going to compete in sea fight. Of course, you're a Scotsman. You spend the week fighting brutes in the arena. That's weird. You get to physique and one finesse. Hmm. Scotsman, that's not using broken glass as a weapon. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh well, <laughs> racism aside. <laughs> one, day, uh, well, one, one day, while wandering the halls, one of the arena's fighters approach you. Approaches you. Excuse me, sir. I need a sparring partner, he says. Are you down for a fight or two? So, shall I accept his challenge? Or just uh, point to the birdie guy next to you. <laughs> I do enjoy seeing people getting the shit kicked out of them. Refer so. to well, him yeah, but you should have to call next Friday to you, night. you point to the mirror. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and he's now for He may be burly, but he's pretty damn thick. By the way, uh, I shall refer him to the burly guy next to you. Thanks, he says. Later on, you see the two of them taking turns punching each other in the face. As you do. Prefer not to be punched in the face, you feel you made a good decision. Yeah, yeah. You gain one mind. Okay, who's that now? Uh, oh, yeah. Is that Cambridge mine. Red? So yeah, it's mine. Yes. Okay. okay, so yeah, each place has like two choices you can pick between, and each one sort of can rate your stats and random events. And can you not go to the arena now that he's there? Cause that's uh, not uh, no, you, can't, you can't actually go to the same place as someone oh, else. Wow. We, uh, we must really hate each other. I mean, you know, in game, not just out game. Uh, We're not destined to meet. Mm, let's go to the palace. Um, oh, that's where I was going. Uh, <laughs> do some admin. I'm a, gent I'm a dashing gentleman. That's where I'm supposed to go. So. Spend the week doing work for the palace. You're paid too well. Gain one mind. <laughs> God damn it! Sounds like a horror game. <laughs> One day you decide to lean up against a wall just to take a break. It rotates as you apply pressure and you stumble down a set of stairs. You enter a large, dusty room filled with barrels. You found the king's famous wine cellar. What? 
<laughs> I'm getting so fucking drunk. <laughs> oh, I'm fucking too sad. Fights that everyone you know, but no one shows up. Oh. You decide to drink your sorrows away all alone. Wow, oh, it's like Saturday night. <laughs> you down glass after glass and quickly black out. When you come to, you find yourself in a home you don't recognize. <laughs> only your underwear. Your clothes are nowhere to be found, and you seem to be the only one home. What happened? Huh. Well then. Well, obviously you stumbled home. Yeah? In your underwear. So, let's see, I'm a dashing gentleman. Where, where would I go? I could go forest, uh, Albury Tower Gardens, tavern, hospital. Obviously, as a dashing gentleman, I'll be in the slums. Yeah. You know, it's Ooh, just normal. Oh, fun. And, uh, I'm, a, I'm a superhero. I don't know if you guys know this. I actually... Are you not came. Bruce Wayne? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I am not Bruce Wayne. It's... Oh, you don't have a mask. Oh, man. You spend the week outsmarting and beating up criminals. You gain one mind, one physique, and one finesse. What? Oh. Night, you hear a woman whisper at you from nearby. Hey, you. She calls out. Looking to make a bit of coin. I'm always up for more coin. She signals you for you to go into the alleyway with her. Come closer, she says. Nobody else can hear what I'm about to tell you. You lean in close, eager to learn how you'll be earning this coin. She presses herself right up against you, moving her lips slowly towards your ear. Suddenly, she bites your neck viciously. Blood <laughs> pours from the wound and she clings to you tightly, lapping it all up. You black out. When you come to, you see her standing over you. Thanks, she says, tossing you a couple of coins. You gain one wealth. I see no bad thing here. She <laughs> I am a jockey now. <laughs> when you feel your neck, you notice your wound has healed completely. Your body feels ice cold. You gain free charm. <laughs> You lose free physique. You gain free sparkle. I mean, I mean. <laughs> what? They oh. say the last time it came, the Yorg devoured houses all, stole lives, tore families and family members apart. But that was so very long ago. Uh, <laughs> you won't see it because Baxter's oh, stuck. Yeah. Yeah, you won't see it because of uh, the card, but Megan and Caleb are pretty much pissing on us laughter to the shots. <laughs> I'm just uh, kind of commentating, you know, I, I have a gift. I know, uh, it's just, uh, have fun with that choice you've made. Like, the best thing about this... In more senses than one, you're Batman. Yes, like, I know, I know. like uh, one thing that's great about this game is, um, is if when you make a choice in one week, that the consequence of that choice may come back in later weeks in very... Hilarious, ludicrous ways. No. So you could say that the consequences may come back and bite me in the ass, or, or me bite them in the neck. Basically, yes. It's oh, I'll, I'll tell you after the comments. Something funny happened with uh, the first thing of this. But anyway, um, yeah. I'm going to choose the forest because I am going to hunt. You're not taking the lumberjack uh, class. No, I'm afraid not. I'm choosing the hunter. You spend the week hunting defenseless critters like a heartless fuck. This isn't Sang Freud. <laughs> you, gain, you, gain, <laughs> you gain two finesse and sell the pelts for one wealth. One night, through the trees, you spot a group of clocked figures standing in a, oh dear, uh, standing in a circle. <laughs> they are chanting in unison. Oh, might, oh, mighty lord of the night. I feel like we all told we did Master of beasts. Bringer of pain and division. Yeah. yeah. One of them, oh, one of them runs from out of the darkness towards the rest of the group. So, if I'm about to bring this calendar, oh, what? <laughs> it's a what? Seventh Day Saints. Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, so, so, everyone, but I was reading this calendar, man, he says. Why does it remind me of that scene out of? We were supposed oh, to summon the demon <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> oh, fucking moon, moon. This is so Josh Whedon. No, we have to yeah, wait our really home uh, to try again. And how the fuck did go David Bowie? <laughs> For God's sake! To be fair, it is much fun to, to think of a cult of people and just suddenly David Bowie comes out. Guys! I, I, I can't do his voice, but guys! I can <laughs> it but just sounds like wrong. Woody, um... Oh. Woody Allen. Right, Woody Allen. That's oh my god, guys! I don't understand! <laughs> Either way, carry on. That's a collective sigh as the group disperses. You learned a bit about demon summoning. <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> you gained one mind and one magic. I've only played this How game is... twice, yet I've never seen that one before. 
Oh, this game is cool. Careful, don't press the plus. Okay. Let's see. Oh, this game is amazing. <clears throat> Let's go to the Burton. Well, Are you gonna drink your souls? Sure. Yeah. yeah. Every time I make a choice, Caden picks it before I me. I swear. Sorry. <laughs> I, I, I thought when I was playing with Ast as well. I couldn't, I couldn't do this. You spend the entire week getting wasted like a lady. <laughs> <laughs> You gain two charm and one physique. Give me charm. Get a whisk, get your charm. Well, Apparently. look at her pinky. Yeah, it's out. Oh, yeah. She is indeed she is very great classy. Charming. Yeah. It's a noble woman. Oh, yeah. Their very. What? Their uh, very yeah, first yeah. week of. Very, very first, first day of the week when you walk through the tavern door, everyone cheers. Wow. Apparently, during your last drunken outing, you were a party animal while you were blacked out. Oh, shit. <laughs> Legend spreads of your party hard spirit. <laughs> you gained two charm. Oh, not bad. I got a lot of charm there. Yeah. Alright, my turn. And I am a mighty dashing gentleman, so I will go to the palace. And uh, oh, I'm not going to do administration work, that's for the slaves and servants. I will attend the ball. You spend the week oh attending fancy gatherings. God. You gain two charm and one finesse. He's turned a robot. Over the, <laughs> 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 Over the course of the week, you've noticed your skin become paler and your teeth sharper. You notice that whenever you talk, everyone nearby hangs on your every word. You gain free charm. You also feel more frail and gaunt than you used to. You lose free physique. Oh and worst of all, you have a lisp. Don't lose ten charm. <laughs> One day, you notice a woman tilting her head back, brushing her hair. Her neck fully exposed. Uh -oh. You can even see a maid or two. Delicious. Before you know it, you're coated in blood with a mangled form in front of you. There are dozens of people around and they're all filled with delicious nectar. The next few hours are a blood. <laughs> you wake up the next day in bed, sheets soaked with blood that is not your own. You look in the mirror and notice your skin has regained its colour and that your teeth have dulled. <laughs> it was on us in a heartbeat, or so the stories go. The earth shook, the air went still. <laughs> oh, the best thing of all, to go to the party. Wait, you bar. killed the fucking king. <laughs> <laughs> it was so funny, when we first played this, Yorkie went to the hospital and did that. Wow. <laughs> all the things, didn't it? was fucking Was it a pediatric ward? <laughs> Yeah, it was like the actual patient squad well. as well. Like, oh. Yeah. It was That's a little dark. It's like it's like I don't want to say it's spoilers, but like there's more than one play, more than one way for a place to become fucked like that. Anyway <laughs> Anyway, I'm gonna show you guys the slums. Uh we probably try not to talk guys. too much about other choice as well. Just said something so that if people want to play this after watching it, there is so much variety and stuff that can happen. Yeah. So hmm. We'll let them uh, mm. discover it for themselves. This yeah. is on Steam, by the way, I believe. Well, That's I good point. I'm gonna go to some uh, slums. I'm gonna learn maths, apparently. I'm gonna go to the slums and fight crime. Have you seen what's happened to me? I'm just trapped. Bam a stush! No one will recognize me. <laughs> I'm totally the best. I am totally the best Batman. Yeah. You spend the week outsmarting and beating up criminals. You gain one mind, one physique, and one finesse. Do it to you, ruffians. One day, a woman in a beautiful but tattered dress comes up to you with her hands outstretched. She looks extremely familiar, but you can't quite figure out who she reminds you of. Uh, ooh. Now, I am Batman, so I can be a complete dick, but at the same time, I am Batman, so I'm a good guy. But you're uh, Batman, so you won't um, give her money. Yeah. But you are well, Batman, so you know you're in Gotham City. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's all I could think to add. Unfortunately, this is not Gotham City, but I wish it was. I mean, you're anyway. Batman, she is the Joker. Oh Christ. <laughs> Anyhow. <laughs> you toss her a sack of coins. You lose one wealth. She burns the sack of coins. She is the Joker. <laughs> she thanks you weakly and walks away. The next night you recognise her on the street. You spot her eating what looks like a fresh loaf of bread. She sees you and smiles. You feel good about yourself. You gain one physique. You gain one finesse. You gain one mind. <laughs> you gain fucking health. Ten. Oh yeah. So how come when you take to the streets and be a superhero, you get to help people? When I have get it, I get to sparkle. 
Like, it, it's random chance. Like ugh. generally, the idea of this, like if you do like a like a morally good act, you tend to get a one in everything, which is I do like it. It's case it's case of you get rewarded for being a good guy, which is like with me being like lawful good almost <clears> every fucking yeah. Pathfinder campaign. I'm like yeah. You're yeah, like, and I get to like be rewarded for being a like yeah. dick. It's beautiful. Yeah. Mm. But then there's Kane. Um, <laughs> Dementum. To be fair, Did though, you call me Dementum? No, Dementum. Like your character. Oh, in Dementum. In Dementum, sorry, that's a proper name. <laughs> Jesus uh, Christ, <laughs> that's harsh. Yeah, 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 you're yeah, demented. Anyway. Did you just spend two weeks in a row getting wasted? <laughs> Three weeks. Oh, no, yeah, fair point, fair oh, point. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> it's such a playthrough, are you fucking serious? Hey, first week, I found the cellar full of booze. I drunk it all. It just, and now he's an addict. It's going like... Somewhere. Oh, okay, I'm actually trying the entire it. week getting wasted. You gain two charm and one physique. One day, while in the tavern, a heated argument erupts between two patrons. But soon enough, fists are flying and everyone seems to be joining in on the violence. Join the fray! Join the fray! <laughs> you join into the thick of the fight and let loose some pent up rage on some unsuspecting patrons. I have one question about this fight. Is your pinky still out? Because <laughs> you've, got to, you've got to fight politely. Oops, sorry. Where is it? Eyes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fair point, fair point. Dirty fighter. Dirty criminals. That was a good fight from all that. You gain one physique from all that exertion. Oh, it's now Sean's turn. Yep. And I will not press You have no on. physique. Jesus. <laughs> I am a sparkle. I don't need physique. In our ghoul. <laughs> Let me go. Uh, you know what? I've got charm. Let's try and see if I can think of a place where I can make the most of that. Mm. <laughs> stole them both. I'll go to the gardens. <laughs> or at least I've stole the main one. I will landscape the gardens, because I'm a charming gentleman and I do, you know, posh, nobly things. You spend the week maintaining the plants in the royal garden. You gain one finesse, one physique, and earn yourself one wealth. Walking past the pond one day, you see a fat little frog sitting on a lily pad. Please, sir. The frog begs. I am not a frog at all, but an enchanted prince. Uh, no, you're not, because I'm a prince. Uh, if you could see your way to kissing me, it would. Uh, if you could see your way to kissing me, it would break the curse and return me to normal. Gay! Well. <laughs> well! It's quite obvious, you know, I'm the only prince here, so there's no. Prince option. on prince action! Oh, there, there is no option to step on the frog, so I'm just gonna go with catch the frog. You Time realize the talking of frog is what you're too quickly grab for it. Oh, no. It tries to hop away, but you're too quick. Ignoring the frog's protest, you bundle it up in your bag. Later, you sell it to a travelling merchant for a huge fee. Oh, my God. Month. <laughs> what that didn't say is the merchant was French. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah. racist. So there's a yaoi joke. That's and the food the joke. <laughs> yeah, sorry. And um, then the world was a howling fury. Chaos. Screaming. The sound of all we knew was being pulled in half. Wow. Oh, it's empty. Yes. <laughs> so, what will not the Batman do today? I can't go on the palace anymore. God damn it, Sean. Wait, uh, you can't get to the palace anymore. No. Wait, if I actually destroyed the. Yes! <laughs> oh god! <laughs> oh god! <laughs> in fact, one thing you didn't realise you know the woman that he recognised in the slums? Mm -hmm. Queen. Yep. I'm well, surprised they didn't actually say that. Okay. Go. I saw that like, in the Doom playthrough, it did that before. It's like, it turns out this is actually the Queen. You had a little chat with her. But it's like, it didn't actually do it, which made me a bit sad. Wow. I, uh. You know what? I, I should feel guilty, but I'm actually kind of, you know, happy that I actually had such a significant part of working I, something up. I mean, what are you, Marxist? Fuck. Oh, sorry for making a Russian, like, reference. I was, I was meaning tumbleweeds, I just didn't get it completely. Oh, yeah, I know. You know how I know, he's just like, oh, sorry for Any, making the reference. You the spend the potion. week experimenting with different potion groups. Is any of them okay. anti-vampirism? Because <laughs> seriously, I don't want to. Wow. You gain two mind in one mind. Uh, you gain two magic in one mind. I'm all sorry, I'm just imagining that, sh that shady potions maker and kingmaker. One day, all the alchemists uh, decide to take a break from work and instead throw a country party. Oh, finally, <laughs> useful level C of spells. Uh, one alchemist. Oh. I'm sorry. One alchemist waves his hands and produces confetti in front of him. 
I'm going to spare all the words today. Another spawns a seemingly endless number of doughs from his sleeves. <laughs> then the alchemists turn to you <clears throat> to see what you could come up with. Spawn so, a seemingly endless amount of villagers in a cave in Minecraft. <laughs> no, he's not as psychotic as you, can. <laughs> also, he doesn't enjoy fucking up servers. <laughs> Uh, this is a different let's play with me. Anyway, uh, let's choose a complex trick. With a snap of your fingers, uh, with a snap of your fingers, you bring a chair to life. You sit on top of it and ride it around the room. Everybody else is quite impressed. That's a strong chair. And <laughs> Sorry, I'm done. And suddenly you're Disney. Suddenly it's a fucking Disney film. Well, you that's... to charm. Who nice. was Disney making? Anyhow. Yeah, I had that enough of fucking fire in them. Anyway, that's a different thing entirely. Wait, what? Uh, yeah, so, like, I was playing the song, but I was suddenly, like, a forest being burned down. Two characters started singing, and the forest came back to life like a fucking Disney film. I was like, are you fucking serious? Everybody died in this fight. Anyway, I'm being... Disney! Like, basically, yeah. Anyway, you're all my pretentious writing. Pretentious? Yeah, Kevin's supposed to be the pretentious one here. That's not really pretentious. Getting angry at Disney. He would know. <laughs> Connoisseur. What were you doing? Like? Are you just. What the fuck am I saying? Get drunk some more! <laughs> I'm pretty sure you, your character does actually know that the end of the world is coming because yeah, they seem to be perfectly going for it. Just doesn't give a fuck anymore. <laughs> uh, you spend the entire week getting wasted. You gain two charm and one physique. Careful, just leave it here. One day, the tavern throws its da annual dart ornament. Yes. You sign up for the dart tournament, ready to prove your dart throwing prowess. You play the worst game of darts anyone's ever seen. You manage to break several glasses and narrowly miss someone's head. You come dead last. And you, and you become dead last. So <laughs> it, could, it could have been worse. You could have destroyed the entire palace. <laughs> yeah, just yeah. somehow end up at the palace, covered in blood. <laughs> With a dart in your hand going, how the hell did this happen? I need to stop drinking. Someone there, somebody there, wrote a song of how poorly you did, and it's quickly <laughs> become the most popular tune in town. You lose one charm. So basically, now people in town are going around going, killing the shit, killing the shit, 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 shit. And is that? <laughs> I'll just take my turn. Yeah. All right. So, charming, sparkly gentleman, will. Hmm. I will out charm you. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I think I I've got like that. 11 charms, so I could. You, you are close, but you're not as charming as me. I, um. Yeah, but look at your physique. I'm, I'm getting hungry. I will uh, tend to the patients. Yes, yes. Dot, yes. dot, dot. Clean up with your tongue. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> you spend the week diagnosing and tending to the sick. You gain two mind and earn one wealth. One day, a patient whose voice has been cursed and replaced with piano notes will not stop talking. Wait, what? All the other patients are complaining that his voice is making the hospital even more depressing. The doctors have tried convincing him to stop talking, but to no avail! Hmm. I'm gonna sing a bit. You start trying to sing along with his voice. The two of you start singing wonderful melodies together, making everybody happy. One of the doctors slips you a sack of coins to thank you. <laughs> you gain too well! Yeah. That didn't give me charm! What? <laughs> <laughs> when it arrives this time, how will we fare? Will we want more rebuild, move on, be strong? Or have we forgotten? We've forgotten. You know, oh, we don't sucks remember what Yog. Sucks, 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 sucks. Oh, sorry, I forgot the Yog <laughs> was a bright, happy game. Um, <laughs> he was just singing the song, you know, it's top of the charts right now. Yeah, so. it's, it's a song in the town. Uh, what it's top of the old medieval town charts. Uh, well, I put the top of the medieval town charts is Ha ha ha, look at the guy throwing the dart into the eye! Ha ha ha, ha ha ha! That 
actually was quite good. But, uh, <laughs> just so you can't fucking drink yourself silly. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. The whole way so I'll find booze right somewhere now. else. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna go brew potions, isn't he? Oh dear. <laughs> Oh, I've got broke potions. Oh, you spend the entire you spend the entire week getting wasted. Because fuck this shit. You get into trouble. Oh, I've got physique of that as well. Well, yeah, because you punch someone. I, I puff. <laughs> I puff my mouth. I've like nearly ten everything. I'm like the most average. But anyway, <laughs> one day a bird pulls out his lute in the bar and starts playing a tune. But it's the specific it. tune from last week. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, singing is horrible and it's ruining the tavern's atmosphere. No, it's not the same tune. You decided to do something about <laughs> it. I do like the fact that the first two like we, uh, actions after Caelan had his tune made was both people singing. So, mm. you know, it just it just goes. Mm. Sorry, Caelan, that tune is just top of the charts. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be a dickhead and tell him to fuck off. You put your and let him know that the tavern down the road is well known for big tickets. He then issued the heads up and packed up his things and goes on his way away. You helped out the patrons. You gained two charm. Hmm. What? Sorry. <laughs> patrons. Yeah, what the it's patrons. Totally patrons. Patrons. <laughs> it, patrons are totally patrons, right? Yeah, anyway. it's, it's fine, it's fine. So then, where will you Malaki off next? Yeah. <laughs> no alcohol for you all. Stumble up to the tavern and look. <laughs> Down at my feet. And then uh, you see a Scotman inside, you just can't bring yourself to walk through the door. <laughs> Suddenly, plot to fight Spalier. Yeah. Exactly. Oh. Ah! Oh. No. Let's not do that. Go back. Oh, I want to go back. <laughs> you have chosen. Go to love. Choose your destiny. I like the fact that when Ken stops being drunk, he becomes a superhero. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, this Clearly is. Clearly, like... he's Tom Wayne. Yeah, the entire week. <laughs> Outsmarting and outbeating. <laughs> you spend the week outsmarting and beating up criminals. You gain one mind, one physique, and one finesse. One night, a woman walks up to you. Ex <laughs> Excuse me, miss. Feeling a little lonely tonight? She asks. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> she removes the mask and it's George Takei! <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I'm feeling lonely. I'll you anything. Uh, I'm a god of the coins. For only a small amount of coins, I can make you feel good all night. <laughs> That's just quite stunning. Oh, okay. Oh, you have. Oh, it was a hit! <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly this becomes no, it changed to him after we mentioned George Decay. <laughs> well, there we go, and that explains, that explains it. Him over a small sack of coins. And it's such too well. It goes the whole way. Peace. On your way to your house, you start about talking philosophy, history, magic, everything really. The two of you have. An amazing conversation that goes well into the morning. Wait, what? Um, you get two mind and two charm. So did you just did you just pay a scholar prostitute? Wait, what? The woman bought just like sex. But she's changed her sex. Clearly, he she's her mastodite. So it changed it to George K when it thought you know when it was all about sex and that. But as soon as it as the sex was out of the question, it's back to you know the normal. This game is amazing. <laughs> wow, <laughs> it's a good game. I did say. You did. You did. He didn't mention it's love for George Decay, but hey. <laughs> hey it's lack of love for The transgender family. individual apologises for the lack of sex, <laughs> but thanks you for the check. She no, refers you back to half Fry, of what you, you spent on her. Oh. You gave him one will. I'm out right. charming you, deal with it. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> <Like> this! <laughs> <laughs> you are charmed the sparkle fairy, nice. I am going to... Oh. Fuck this, I need a potion to up ch up my charm, otherwise Kane and Will overtake me, so I need to brew a potion. You spend the week experimenting with different potion brews. You gain two magic and one mind. One day you hear cries for help coming from the next room. Running over to investigate, you see that the alchemists there have accidentally created an ooze monster. Oh, Christ, How do you dispatch the ooze? <laughs> 
with one fizzing. Go on. You know you want to. What are you waiting for? I am very tempted. However, I am a child. What are you waiting for? <laughs> what? Videos. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm a charming gentleman and will not get dirty ooze slime over me. Dirty the ooze of magic. You pulverize the ooze into a cuddle with an array of magical spells. The alchemist's old chair. You gain one charm, yes. Yolk. It's almost here. Almost. Almost. And, oh, look uh, at the magic as well, players. Like, they've got, they've got the whole song like. So it's not playing in the background of this. Anyway, uh, maybe the... Jesus Christ, we've got like 10 everything. See, the org isn't actually that scary, it's just a bunch of tourists. And, you know, they're just you know what wanting is? to take some pictures. You know what it actually Time. is? What? It's whole board's got change. Change. <laughs> change. I've been watching footage of that every day. It's not so hilarious. Well, you've got the stick of truth. Speaking yeah. of sticks, you spend the week cutting down trees for the village. You're getting too busy. You earn yourself one wealth. Finally, I've got money again. One day you hear hundreds of footsteps rumbling uh, through the forest in your direction. It's an orc raiding party. God damn it, wow. Sorry, no, sorry. Carry on. Oh, okay. Carry um, on, scaling. What do you do? Can I just. Punch him in the face. Eh. Sorry. Oh my god, I need to be there. I get a charm. I've got, I've got a decent charm. But uh, how have you got an awesome everything? Because uh, I I don't actually know. Actually, he's skint. I'm skint. Good actually. point. It's maybe because I've. I think it's going to be more fair. You've done bar all the time. I've gone from different places to points. Dead bar. To dead bar. Um, charm is not killing you. I've got the higher charm. Let's give. Let's charm along. <laughs> I can't do this from The arc lady. <laughs> it's not arcs, it's Mills for chance. Um, the the arc leader stands in front of you and introduces herself as Grish. You manage smooth, you manage to smooth talk her, his fucking grammar, and she seems completely entranced by you. Yes. Oh god. Smooth talk. Bad talk. You manage. Sorry, it's. I'm going to just put my food close to the microphone. Anyhow. I'm going to put my food close to the microphone and just do it. It's much too smooth talking. She seems completely trapped. Let's not do that. <laughs> anyway, um... Who has the smooth talk there? Anyhow. <laughs> <laughs> she turns, she turns back to her heart and instructs them not to eat you. Quick thinking. Gain one mind. And that's the last time I can improve my stats. Yes, this is week six, that's last week. Before the hobos come along, and have to change. Oh. Oh, there you oh. go. You, you were down at the bottom, that's why you couldn't move. Can I believe you just dropped the palace? Dropped the palace? I didn't mean to. Oh, for God's sake! Why did you leave it open? <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't think it would do it again. <laughs> for God's sake. You spent the entire week getting wasted. Gain two charm and one physique. One day, an impo impromptu drinking contest is held. Seriously, Enter. the one week he didn't get wasted, he was not only a superhero, he also had an incredibly philosophical talk with a prostitute, <laughs> George K. <Kay. And laughs> you don't pint after pint, drinking as if your life depended on it. After your drinking frenzy, you take a quick look around and notice you're the only one conscious. Oh, wow. You clumsily take the cash prize and make your way home. You were too well. You've practiced six weeks for that. Yes! <laughs> well, five weeks technically since I stole Worth it. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, so Okay, last week, I am going to go job. to the arena, I think. I'm going to bet on it. Oh, okay. You spend the week placing bets on your favorite fighters. Two games in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a game. That's a number that you've gained. <laughs> One night on your way home, you spot a oh. rusty dagger on the ground. <laughs> of course, I will leave it. I'm a charming gentleman. Why would I pick up a rusty piece of crap like that? The rest of your week is uneventful. 
you spend the rest of the week thinking about how cool that taco was. <laughs> what a mental workout. You can't <laughs> Good thing you avoided that, but uh, anyway. Don't spoil it for me. Oh, well, I, oh well. <laughs> It's definitely an experience if you took the jacket. <laughs> the yeah. storm arrived in the night. By the morning it still rages. For three full days the tempest puts us through a grinder, drowns us, crushes us, ruins us. But then it ends. We see the graveyard our home has become. Our home. Does anything yet live? Is it? Are we past saving? Wait, so that's what the old. It was just a. Uh, yeah. Choose your role. It's um. It's like I, I was thinking it's like more like a hurricane sort of thing, but at this point, based on your stats, you. If I uh, had to take a guess, Miley Cyrus came in like a wrecking ball. <sighs> Well, <laughs> to have a look at this place, you would imagine that. It's like, at this point, you've got to choose your role and see how... So let's see, my best... You have is... to win that fast, so she stepped through the gates and it's like, Oh God, Take it's leader. Miley Cyrus! Take leader, screw Sean. Uh, wait, <laughs> I know, it's it's like... his only good stat charm. <laughs> <laughs> and then, like, like I've got... Apart, apart from money, I've got the best fucking stats. Well, you like, could take all. looter and then, like... Collectively fuck the entire town. <laughs> I'm tempted, but I like being I like being a useful person. It's call me call me up weird, but uh... that's so weird. How wanting word for yourself? God damn it! Um, you, you two got better charm than me, so I'm gonna leave those ones open. I'm, I'm gonna choose something physically because holy crap, twelve. Um, I'm gonna but holy crap, twelve charm. Be a leader. Uh, I, I'm not really a leading person. They, they, they won't fault they won't the Scotsman. Anyway, you, t- you take it. That's racist oh, well, and wrong. Anyway. <laughs> because I think Tony Blair was Scottish. Uh, Gordon Brown definitely was. Oh, Christ. It's, it's, this is my point exactly. Politics, hey ho. Hey anyway, now, damn you, it. You take it upon yourself to help we build, rebuild the town by hand. We build. You rebuild homes at a breakneck speed and impress in the rest of the survivors. <laughs> this helps the rebuilding effort significantly. Uh, this is you next. Okay. What are you going to choose? Tut bar! <laughs> Tell us of old problems. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, s- you scavenge together as much alcohol as you can and drink excessively. You gain two of us each and one charm. See, I actually got stats. Yeah. Oh, wow. Um, is that the end of the game? To, to uh, deal with it. <laughs> well, and of course, I am the charming gentleman, so, so obviously I'm going to be a tailor. <laughs> <laughs> what? You volunteer to weave and mend the clothing for the survivors to keep warm. You completely lack the dexterity or stamina required to... Oh, to make clothing. <laughs> Everything you make falls apart almost immediately upon wearing it. The lack of proper clothing drops morale significantly. Oh, oh dear. That's and okay. so we set about our task once more living our lives this time in a way we might never have expected or even wanted. But in the end, we were defeated. Oh. Those of us left struggled to put our home to rights. But the effort was futile. Doomed. The city bled survivors eventually becoming a husk, a dead thing, and perhaps the Yorg was only partially to blame. The other, the rest of it was actually to blame on the town drunk. Dirt bar. We got the worst ending. Yay. I don't know how that happened. I mean, I'm pretty sure my rat fur boxers were, should have been a success. Oh, we've climbed rampant in the ruins of your former third. You decide to take action. Over the next few years, you build an underground fortress filled with magical gadgets to aid you in your quest. Uh, oh, oh my god! god I actually have a fucking Batman! I have fucking Batman! You're sad as shit as well! I actually have fucking Batman! You are Scotman. This is more Batman than like last time. Like. Jesus Christ! Anyway, yeah, criminals. Le- oh yeah, criminals learned to. Criminals learned to free your name as you end them one by one. Where is she? The York chance traumatized you deeply. Despite everything starting to be okay now, something in you snapped. 
Perhaps it was witnessing a baby floating face down in the water. Maybe it was when you found a man skewered on a fence, still squirming slightly, his eyes an empty void. Perhaps it was when you saw a group of kids that were trapped in the school had resorted to eating their rotting teacher's corpse. Whatever it was, you can't help but drink. So did this happen before the first week? Because... <laughs> You drink so much, you're not entirely sure what is real and what is an illusion. One day, you look into a mirror and your eyes are empty. Admittedly, I find... Hollow. Sorry, sorry. It's okay. Admittedly, I find that one to be the saddest character ending. Yeah, understandable. In the ruins of the village, you try to set up some form of infirmary to help cull the rapid diseases running amok. You try to find help, but it appears anyone able to help enough has either fled the city or died. Either way, you try your best to cure the scores of plagues killing people all over the ruins. Unfortunately, all your contact with various diseases takes its toll. You die without saving anyone. Aww. But I'm a child! Uh, you got the worst ending! Oh. <laughs> well, and I don't know, is psychological breakdown worse than death? I'd, I'd rather die than lose my mind, actually. Mm. I, I will admit that. Anyhow, that was the Yard pe uh, people. Well worth checking out. Like that was only one in a ton of endings, right? Yeah, for each, for each of us. Um, I mean, I've, I've seen like I've seen like that's the first time I've seen like the bad ending. It's like an okay ending, they're like a good ending, but it's not necessarily the destination. It's the journey of it. There's so many things that can happen. Yeah. It's it's actually incredible. You've, you've, we've barely scratched the surface from yeah. that one playthrough. There's a shit ton of stuff in this. I mean, from what I can tell, it's like a grid system where basically on a day a very particular event is written for that particular week, for that particular yeah. area. So if you like pick the same way. event that we've done on the same week that we did it, yeah, probably the same event will occur. But, mm. Cause like, but anyway, sorry, this video is getting a bit long. So yeah, fair enough. with that all, all said and done, this was a really, really fun game. And I do highly recommend it. Uh, thank you guys for joining me. Mm. Um, and for the rest of you folks, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it as much as we enjoyed uh, making this video. Uh, I will see you next time. Bye bye now, folks. I'm that man. Bye. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and done.